Fun. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from. Welcome to this unscheduled broadcast of Zubuntu 1910. Again, coming to you from... OBS. So, uh, this is a live version. I didn't have a lot of time tonight to set up a stream. I had gone to the pool. I can tell my hair. Trying to work out my back a little bit. Feel a little bit better. It was a rough day today. But we're going to take a look. Oh, over here. Yeah, right here. Nope, right, yeah, right here. Uh, oh, I even changed my title there. Wow. Let's fix that. Welcome to Monday Night at Steve's very own. Yeah. So we're on Ubuntu 19.10. There we go. That looks better, huh? Hello, Steven Anderson. How you doing, my friend? Welcome. Thank you for keeping a eye out. Um, let me see. I want to get my chat in. Pop that out. Getting used to this new YouTube studio. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. Every time I go on here, I got to change the t the key. Let me just get my chat room up here. And add a window capture. Over here. one more thing hey Ben and there we go no fancy chat box tonight So we are on Zubuntu 1910. Yes, it is 1910. Oh, you were watching Two and a Half Men on YouTube? So, yeah, before we start, today's my wife and mine 30th wedding anniversary, and she picked me up this mug. What do you think of it, huh? Pretty cool. After 30 years, you're still the best husband. Keep that shit up. She cracks me up. Perfect, perfect, perfect gift. So, it's Ubuntu 1910. Well, everybody kind of knows that I like XFCE. Um, haven't had a chance to do too much with it. A uh, couple things that I have noticed. Uh, when I was, I actually, I went into live version yesterday. I uh, didn't get a chance to install it yesterday, but I was playing around with it live. In live, the theming is the plain gray, you know, uh, panel. Um, although, uh, we're going to change the theming here today a little bit. I got this beautiful dark panel, and then there's I'm sorry, ugly whisker menu theming. Um, this is typical old XFCE still coming out. I'm sorry. 
don't mean to offend anybody on the XFCE or the Zubuntu team. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Welcome. What is going on? So we're going to play around with that. Um... Uh, I guess on uh, XFCC, on, on the live version, I'd hit the super key and the menu would open. On the installed version, you hit the super key. I, I know it's probably key binded to something else. So that's throwing me off a little bit. Got this little bit of wallpaper, and I'm going to transition to the full screen here. So you guys can take a big look. So here we are. Kind of looks nice off the bat. Um, I think Zorn 15 Lite wins the big prize for making XFCE looking better. Hey Vince, no matter how much Steve's very own This Is XFCE. It still feels like home to me. I'm not dissing it. I'm dissing the, the theming. It's, this, this is... This is Windows 95. This is like... Blah. But we're going to change that. Um, here we got this beautiful dark panel. But... I'm sorry. Don't mean to offend anybody. Hey, Allie, what's going on, Mr. Present Arms? Thank you guys for jumping in at this last moment. Um, probably got about a, not even a half hour here, but I figured I'd, I'd play around a little bit. So, um, everybody knows XFCE. Everybody knows that I like FC, XFCE because I like it and, you know, I love that Peppermint had gone with it a couple of iterations ago. I know, I know, you know. Hey, Vince, save that for Gnostic, okay? He's the river. So let's go do a couple of changes. Um, let's see, I got OBS uh, installed and with the NDI plugin, so I can do this. So let's go, it's probably in settings, and we want appearance. So here they don't have much in the theme area, but we're going to change it to add a lot of dark, which looks much, much better. There we go. Now that looks nice. And let's see what the icons are. Um... Let's change it to hey, let's change it to elementary. That looks a little bit better. What else they got there? And we can also go through here to get to the desktop settings. Let's change the wallpaper too while we're at it. Let's see. That's kind of, I mean, that's nice, but we're going dark. Let's go with a little bit of the darker theme. How's that? And speaking of Gnostic, the lurker. Hey, Nate. Convucal Nate is in the house. Dan Kelly. <laughs> Vince, yes, you did. You forgot to say Snickers. All right, we're getting a little bit better here. Uh, let's go back. And let's go back to appearance. So, yeah, not a lot of themes on here unless... Play with a couple more icons. Let's see. Humanity Dark. Ah, that looks cool. Hmm. 
Okay. We'll leave it there for the time being. Humanity Dark. Uh, I mean, there's not much to say. I, I, um, I guess this is, you know, the um, XFCE or the uh, um, 414. It's the 1910. Uh, I do like my XFCE. Uh, what I did, you know, of course, notice is uh, in software. It's the um, Ubuntu Software Center, and like I did, installed Chromium, and it installed the app or the Snap, the Snap. Hello, Rose. How you doing today, honey? Um, you know, typical software center. I uh, took, you know, about what, not even 10 minutes to install. Uh, what else? So installed, we have, uh, Let's take a look at graphics. Of course, uh, GIMP. GIMP is installed. LibreOffice is installed. Firefox is the main browser, but of course, I installed Chromium. Uh, multimedia, it's the Parole Media Player. And there we go. We got LibreOffice. Um, take a look uh, I know let's take a look and see is HTAP installed nope so let's bring up the terminal and let's install HTAP and take a look at our system revices Okay. All right, so I have the um, OBS running, and that's about it. And we're at about 900 megabytes of memory, which is maybe kind of a bit. Uh, let's see, let's look at, it's, um... What's the command I want here? Bring up. So Vince, you're trying to install PC Linux OS? Just, um, oop. Forgot the D. Oop. I forgot. That's what I forgot. So start up. What about what? Thirty eight sec, thirty nine seconds there. 
Not bad. Um, let's see, I don't want. Then I want system analyze blame. That's what I want. Let's see what kind of things. Uh, not too bad. Not a whole lot to take out of there to speed up the startup. But all in all, I mean, nice and fun to play around with. Let's add the weather update. So you can see a lovely 26 degrees Fahrenheit here in Chicago land. Hey, Eric. How is Caesar Aeon doing? Be honest. I am doing okay. Um, the, um, let's switch back for a second. Uh, the back has uh, been really rough. I'm going to go see a specialist on Wednesday. And uh, we're going to take care of that, or start to take care of that. I uh, went to the pool. Uh, I've been chatting with um, Barb. Um, and she's got a bad back. And we've been talking about going to the pool. And it, it has helped. Uh, the program that I've been doing hasn't been doing really well. It's causing more pain than um, helping. But going to the pool, uh, that's been very helpful. Um, I mean, I was, I'm still in a little bit of pain today. Uh, earlier was really bad work. It's just a rough time of year to kind of not use your back, you know? So that's about how I'm doing, Eric. So thanks for asking. Mitchell Valentino and Peter Patterson, the Mint Spider. Welcome to some XFCE. and Zubuntu. So I, I mean, I, not a whole lot to, to talk about. I mean, if you're a big fan of XFCE, it's good. You know, you can start theming it the way you want, download some themes, throw it on there. Um, you know, it's a good, steady, a able. Rose recommends Epsom salt soaking in the bathtub can help. Yep. So I wore my, my I went to the pool in my t-shirt and my pep jacket. Even though it's cold, I wasn't going to bring my big jacket. Um, I just uh, wore uh, my trunks underneath my some pajama pants and just made it really easy and got out when I was done and showered. But yeah, it's amazing what the pool can do it, you know, cause especially when you get in a deep end and just let your body hang, um, and your back gets to decompress a bit, the weight comes off of it. 
And I, I did it Saturday, and I felt much bad, better. I did it before uh, when I'm Biddle and that. So um, I figured I'd get on a little bit tonight with the guys of talking about uh, Zubuntu, but mainly to talk to you know my friends out here in Lennox land. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a big, big, uh, it's, it's steady. It's, you know, I, I, I have no issues. I, I did have issues with, um, both Mate and, uh, Budgie. Hot Springs is better. Um, I actually, if I go into a hot tub, Rose, it is worse. The heat makes my back worse. Because my back, uh, it's my joints, and it's, it's, they're so inflamed that I go into a hot tub, forget about it. It, it, it just makes it absolutely worse. I, I ice it down more than I, I heat it up. Um. Oh yeah, let's uh, go back. Uh, look at a couple of things. So, like I said, GIMP is installed, or the GNU image manipulation for those that are sensitive. Kind of mean today too. I'm because I'm pain. Um. But. No gimmick in the filters. Ah, you can't... I don't know. Why well, some distributions will throw it in there and others won't. And of course... Uh, Thunar is the file manager. Hey Chris, how you doing? Uh, hello, I is it I Kixon? Ubuntu is the best Ubuntu variant. Yes, it is. I'm not sure if I've seen you here before, Kixon. Welcome, everybody. Say hello, 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 hello. Like kicks in. I know. Well, so I, I appreciate the suggestions. I really do. I do. But it's I. Um. I actually I went in a hot tub last not this past Sunday, but last Sunday, and that was a rough night. It just it just hits my back so bad. Yeah, Peter, I don't, uh, Ubuntu Budgie is, I mean, once you change it the way you like it, like, you made it like Solus, so, you know, what's the point? I'm going to have to pause here for a second. Got a phone.
Oh, yeah, it's like, you know, Peter, you can't come to my channel on a Monday and not expect it to boom. That was for all the lip readers out there. I unmuted the wrong thing. I'm always chatting to myself, Ellie. Hey, Leviticus, how you doing? <laughs> what, uh, Eric, you like me better quiet where you can't hear me? Again, for those that missed it earlier, here's the mug uh, my wife got me for our 30th anniversary. Pretty cool, huh? That's right, Ellie, the language. I was really swearing. Yeah, sometimes you can read lips. Ben says he left Gen 2 for Mint on his laptop. Are we not surprised? Yeah, Mitchell, I think after 30 years, I finally decided I'm going to keep her. <laughs> Actually, Eric, what I was saying, I was expressing my love for you. You know, from my heart. But I didn't want to do it in a way that I would get Nate jealous. You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't want to diss Nate there, you know. Because you guys got that good man thing going too. Oh... Yeah, welcome to Monday night. You know, part of me said, I should just take it easy tonight. The other part of me, oh, no, I'll be fine. It is what it is, right? We're here just to have fun. And I make fun of myself as much as you guys make fun of me. <laughs> Ellie says, 30 years? You do know you could have applied for bail by now. Well, we've been married for 30 years. We've actually been together for 30... Do, 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 35 years. Yeah, we were dating for a while before we got married. We started dating in 1984. She was a youngin. She just turned 21. But yeah, we in. I mean, ups and downs and ins and outs and all sorts of uh, goofiness on both parts and we've never separated or anything like that. She's, I'm honest, she's helped me make the man I am today. It wasn't an easy task for her. Especially when my grandmother's told her, the first time my grandmother had met her, Stephen's got the devil in his eyes. Yeah, that's right, Nate. Your house visible from space yet? Oh, Rose. You're going to get a spanking, girl. You are going to get a spanking. Funny. That stuff's supposed to be left for Gnostic. Everybody wants to take your place, Gnostic. 
Vince, Rose. Ali, family friendly. <laughs> Dan, you found uh, Nate's house with... Um... Google Satellite. Well, everybody, the young lad has uh, let me know that class is over. Whoops, it was over 10 minutes ago. I was talking to her mom at the time. So let me just message him. And that, so... I uh, hope you enjoyed this kind of silly Monday night on Zubuntu. And it was Zubuntu 1910. Got it right. Peter, I almost... <laughs> I almost did not download the right one. So, um, what's coming up uh, the rest of the week? Uh, tomorrow, maybe live from the clothes hamper. Um, I also, I'm actually taking tomorrow off. We're having a tree cut down here. Um, he can wait. He's got internet access there at the school, so he's... He won't even pay attention that I'm not there. He'll be stuck on his phone. Um, so I, maybe I might do something in the morning and something in the evening tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, just a quick look at Zubuntu 1910. I mean, uh, nothing bad to say. Um, and not that there's nothing good, but it's good, steady, sturdy, dependable XFCE. Not one bit of problem installing or getting to anything. Uh, unlike for me with Budgie or Mate, I had problems there. Hey, Ron... Sorry, I'm going to be getting off in just a second. What the sign-in screen looks like. So, I appreciate you guys jumping in at the last minute. That always makes me feel good that you're there. I appreciate that very much. Um, and uh, I, for one, am not worried about this Copa crap. It's all Copacetta. Yeah, Nate, it's it's hanging over neighbor stuff now, and it's got a little wild, so my wife's like, it's going. Got Lennox, hey, Paul, no one mentioned bacon. Yeah, you missed it. Unfortunately, I have to go. I have to go now. Bye. So as always, I appreciate everybody dropping in. Uh, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from. Please take care. And bye now. See you soon.